It's about the kingdom. And when will you make time to share my gospel? Make time to point the lost to a brighter day in eternity. Oh, and this is not a game. And this is not a chance to see the spotlight. It's not about a church that seats a thousand or a choir that sings on the key. It's about the kingdom. And when will you make time to share my gospel? Make time to point the lost to a brighter day in eternity and make time for me. When will you make time for me? Repent, repent, repent. Yes, praise God. It's a wonderful day to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, but it's a terrible day to die in sin and fall into the hands of an eternal God. It's crazy to see how many people will come out in the middle of a storm and rain just to come sin. They'll, they'll move a mountain just to come sin. People will do anything so that they can continue in their sins. Some people will even cut their family members off over sin so they can continue doing it. Some people are willing to, to, to turn their back on their own responsibilities in order to drink alcohol and smoke marijuana, get high, get drunk, have sex. These are things that people chase after in this world. These things are, they're, they're, they're passing away. The lusts of the flesh will pass away. But the everlasting word of God will last for eternity. And you have to understand, hell is not a place that you want to go. But if you continue in sin, it will lead to hell. Do not be deceived. All people who walk in sin will end up in hell. There's no getting around it unless you submit your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. We do not come out here to condemn you to hell. We do not have the ability or power to do such a thing. We come out here to warn you to flee from that wrath that is coming. To flee to the tower and the refuge of the Lord Jesus Christ, who can save you from the midst of this darkness. You people in here, you're crammed together, shoulder to shoulder, bumping into each other, grinding upon each other just to do what? To pile on more filth in your life. It is not worth it. The Lord Jesus Christ can lift you above all of that, set you free from it. And there's people in this group and uh, this crowd that are smoking cigarettes and vape. Every time you inhale that smoke and you exhale that smoke and it blows out of your mouth. That's what the Bible says your life is like. It is but a vapor. It is here and then gone. You live what? Maybe 80, maybe 100 years if you're lucky. And then you die and you stand before an almighty, holy, righteous God of the universe. And you have to give an account for every thought, word, and deed. And no amount of shaking your head, no amount of scoffing or mocking or laughing is going to change that. You know that there's a God. You know it. It's in your heart. You can't deny the existence of God. You can sit here and argue more subjective morality. You can sit here and argue, I want to do what I want to do. You can do all those things. You have the freedom to choose. But the Bible says only a fool says in his heart, there is no God. You can trust and believe that there is a God that you will give an account for one day. You will stand before this God and you won't be flipping your middle finger off. You won't be puffed up in pride. You won't be remembering that one night you spent St. Patrick's Day uh, in spring break in uh, Panama City Beach, Florida. You're not gonna remember that. You're gonna remember every time you heard the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ and you turn yourself away from it. So you can go back to your disgusting lifestyle of wickedness and sin and abomination to the eyes of God. God says that it is appointed unto a man once to die and after this, the judgment. Judgment is coming. Do not deceive yourself. Do not believe that you're right with God when you're coming to these wicked places doing these wicked things. How can you say, I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, but you're sinning against him every day? You hear his gospel and you laugh. 
you hear his gospel and you flip him, flip off the preacher. That's not living holy for God. That is living solely for yourself. You must understand that the love of God is this. Romans 5, 6 through 8. In due time, while we were yet without strength, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man, some may even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You see, Jesus died to save you from your sin, not to leave you in it. Jesus didn't die so you can come to Panama City Beach and get drunk. Jesus didn't die so you can come lust after immodestly dressed women and have sex with them. Jesus didn't come so that you could smoke marijuana and do whatever you want and enjoy your life. He came so that you could be reconciled back to the Father, so that you could be saved and set free from your sin and washed clean. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 9, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be ye not deceived, no liar, nor fornicator, nor effeminate, nor homosexual, nor covetous, nor reviler, nor extortioner, nor drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of God. But listen up, this is the most important part. And as such were some of you, you know God's gonna drop you out of his kingdom. Don't give him one. Hey, don't give him one, man. He's a mocker. Shame on you, it's shameful to be a sinner. It is. Yeah, only a wicked pervert would do such a wicked thing. You won't be doing that in front of God on judgment day. And God's gonna throw you down just like you threw that word of God on the gospel track. He's gonna toss you down into the pits of hell for your wickedness because you wanna mock the preaching of the gospel. Here comes the most important part. But as were some of you, but you were washed clean. You were sanctified by the blood of Christ and you were justified. You see, you are justified by Jesus Christ and his sacrifice if you keep his commandments. First John chapter two, verses three and four. And by this we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he who says I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. That's right. You can say, I know Jesus. I believe in Jesus all day long. That's not going to save you. What saves you is obeying Jesus. You see, I have an earthly father here on earth. I, I might not have the best relationship with him, but I love him dearly and I, I minister to him the truth all the time. When I was younger, my dad told me, do not touch the hot stove. Now, I believed that he was my dad. I believed him when he said he was my dad. But I didn't believe him when he said the stove was hot and it would burn me. And I touched that stove and I got burned. The same goes for the Heavenly Father. You can believe in Jesus all day long. You take in the spirit and the body of Jesus. When you take in the spirit and body of Jesus, you enshrine in that holiness and you are able to give love are you a to each and every one around you. Are you a sinner? If you consider a sinner drinking alcohol and having a good time. Doing nicotine, doing, serving another master. Doing nicotine, serving another master. God put nicotine on the earth. Did not God, for you to vape it. Did not. Not put, for you to vape did, it. Did God not put. You don't know what God did. Well, you don't serve him, you don't do read you, his word. Do you know what God yeah, absolutely did? Absolutely I do. Why do you know? Why do you know? Why because do I, I read his know? word and I abide I read him. God's word because all the time. Because you take his gospel and you throw right. it on the ground. You I take a God's word and you throw it on the ground, you wicked sinner. You have no idea who God is and what he did. You have no clue. You're a hypocrite. You walk around acting like you're so good, but you're living in willful sin. And this is the problem. This is what people do. They walk around and they have a form of self-righteousness and they claim that we are self-righteous, but they themselves are self-righteous because they believe in the midst of their wicked sin that they're right with God. But if God was okay with sin, tell me this. Why did he cast Adam and Eve out of the garden over one sin? If God was okay with sin, why did he destroy the Canaanites? Every man, woman, and child. If God was okay with sin, why did he flood the entire world and kill everyone except eight people? If God was okay with sin, why did he destroy Sodom and Gomorrah with fire from heaven? Why? 
because he hates sin. That's not a God that's okay with sin. That's a God that hates sin. And how dare you think you're right with God when you walk in sin every single day? Amen. You are lying to yourself. You're deceiving yourself. Though you may believe this true, it's not. You may foolhardily put your faith and God will forgive you no matter what you do. But if you keep doing it, you will not be forgiven. You have to repent. Please listen to these words. Unless a man repents, he will not inherit the kingdom. Jesus said you must be born again. You must be born again. To be born again is to die to yourself. You can't be born again if you don't die. Jesus said, if any man wishes to come after me, let him deny himself daily, pick up his cross and walk with me. What is the cross? Is the cross some little piece of metal on a necklace that you hang on your chest and walk around and show it off and kiss it and rub it and act like it gives you some sort of grace with God? No! Is the cross some kind of little tattoo you put on your body and quote some scripture with it, John 3, 16, and say you're saved from sin when you're still sinning willfully? No! The cross isn't some mamsy-pamsy, comfortable little make-you-feel-good, tickle your, your ears, jelly bean gospel, Burger King have it your way gospel, Barbie girl be who you want to be gospel. No! It's a gospel that tells you to die to yourself. A cross is an instrument of death. You must die to yourself in order to be living with Christ. Jesus said, he who believes in me and dies shall live forever. And he who lives and believes in me shall never die. You have to understand the gospel of Jesus Christ and what it does and how it sets a man free from his sin. How dare you claim you're a Christian and walk past the preaching of the gospel and mock it and scoff at it. How does that make you a born again Christian? It doesn't. But you have to know this. In the midst of your hatred towards God, He still loves you. He still loves you. Can you say that for anyone you've ever met? Have you ever seen a person attack your family member? Beat up your little brother or little sister? Bully your family member? Treat your parents wrong? Maybe some of you out here have experienced sexual assault. Would you die for your rapist? Would you die for a murderer? Would you die for someone who did you wrong? That's what Jesus did. He came on that cross and he died for you while you're in the midst of rebelling against him daily. While you're in the midst of cheating against his holy word every single day. God cares about you. Please repent from your sins and turn to Jesus. You have to understand that God cares about you dearly. He died on the cross to set you free from your sin. Not so that you could scoff and mock at the preaching of the gospel. He loves you dearly, but if you stay in sin, you will go to hell. Be not deceived. Romans 11 says, as much as you've been grafted in, you can be grafted out. Don't worry, man. We'll have a good night. We're serving the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to have the best night of our life every single night from now on because we serve the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who gives us a supernatural joy and peace and long suffering for our neighbor. A true love is sacrifice. True love is giving your life for someone. There's no greater love than this, that a man lays down his life for those that he loves. That's love, to die for someone. And that's what Jesus did. He showed the ultimate form of love because he died on the cross for you. Who do you know in this world right now who's died for you? No one, because when people die, they stay dead. But Jesus Christ did not stay dead. He rose from that grave. Three days later in the midst, that rock was moved and Jesus rose, he ascended. And, he, and he, for, he, he overcame death so that we can forsake our sins and be reconciled back to the Father. Please understand that God loves you. But he says, not all who say to me, Lord, will enter into my kingdom. Only those who do the will of the Father that is in that kingdom already. Many will say to me in those last days, Lord, have we not cast out demons for you and done mighty works in your name? And he will say to them, Depart from me, you who work sin. I don't know you. This is God talking to believers. These are people who say, I believe in you, Jesus, but they're living in willful sin. And he tells them, depart from me, you who live in sin. I don't know you. You see, the Bible says, what fellowship does darkness have with light? What fellowship does Christ have with Belial? Absolutely none. If you walk in the light, you will be righteous as he is righteous. But if you walk in darkness, you do not practice the truth.
You won't be screaming that on Judgment Day when you get sent to hell in your sin. You'll be screaming, Ah! God! Forget me, God! Give me another chance! Ah! But it'll be too late because you decided to live your life in sin. You decided to live your life selfishly instead of selflessly. The only way that you're going to find salvation is through the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you right now, we're not works-based salvationists. No, we're salvation-based workers. We believe that our works go hand in hand with our salvation. Why? Because Jesus said he's coming in Matthew 16, 27 to reward every man according to his works. You will be rewarded. The Apostle Paul said, Know ye not that to whom you submit yourselves to, that is your master, whether it be death leading unto, or sin leading unto death, or right, obedience leading unto righteousness. Jesus said, You cannot serve two masters, for you will love one and you will hate the other, or you will abide in one and you will despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. He who sins is a slave to sin, and a slave will not abide in the house forever but the Son will abide in the house forever. Therefore, he who the Son sets free shall be free indeed. Amen, hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ for his mighty word that can set you free from your sins. Don't you know the love of this God, of this man named Jesus? What do you do with this man who said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away? No, you don't. You drink for yourself, you wicked woman. You don't know the Lord. You don't know the Lord. How dare you claim the name of Jesus Christ when you go in there and you commit willful sin against him every day? You deserve this rebuke, you wicked woman. You don't know. You're not a Christian. You don't know the Lord Jesus Christ going in there getting drunk. Absolutely not. And you know what? When your drunkenness leads to some sort of horrible thing that happens in your life, you know who the only person who's going to be there to set you free from it is going to be? It's going to be Jesus. If you get drunk and have sex with a man, and you get pregnant, you start crying, why am I pregnant? Jesus will be there to hold your hand. If you, if you get drunk tonight, you get hit by a car, and you get hospitalized and paralyzed, you know who's going to be there at that hospital bed with you? It won't be your friends and family. It'll be Jesus. He'll be the only one there to save you from the consequences of what you chose to do in your life. Jesus is the only one who loves you enough to die for you. Nobody else did that. No one. No one in this world died to save you. Not even veterans overseas who go and fight wars and they die. They didn't die for you. Jesus died for you so that you could be set free from sin. Not so that you could do whatever you want, so that you could do what he tells you to do. Jesus said in Luke, Why do you call me Lord and not do the things which I ask of you? Jesus said, only those who do what I say are loved by me and the Father. And, and the Father and I will make our abode in him. If you abide in him, he will abide in you. How do you think it's okay to be a Christian and a sinner at the same time? It's not. Christians are not sinners. It's false. Christians don't walk in sin. Christians live holy. Christian, the term Christian was first used in Antioch and it meant Christ-like and it was actually a derogatory term. Very similar words we use for other people nowadays, derogatory terms. That's what Christian was and it meant someone who lives like Christ lived, someone who walks like Christ walked. You have to understand, to, die, to be for Christ is to die to yourself. Jesus said, he who abides in me, I will love him. And me and the Father will make our abode in him. What does this mean? This means that if you serve the Lord Jesus Christ, he will serve you. God cares about you dearly and loves you and wants you to be set free and saved. He wants you to come to a knowledge of the truth. He wants you to be set free from your sin. He doesn't want you to come here and get drunk and have sex with each other and do drugs and commit violence. We were walking down the street last night and saw a man kicking stuff across the road. It was horrible. But you have to understand, God loves you enough to save you from that type of behavior, to save you from that type of wickedness that exists in this world. How are you serving the Lord Jesus Christ out here tonight? Ask yourself this question. Are you walking wholly for God or are you walking solely for yourself? The word of God is not open to interpretation. The word of God says what it says. The word of God is very clear. It's not hard to understand. It's not ambiguous. It's not vague. It's very clear, precise, and to the point. The word of God separates bone from joint, cutting down deep into the heart. 
You're doing good. I'm also in the Beach Police Department. I just want to let you know that with your, uh, you can be on your microphone and stuff, but you have to keep it down. I cannot hear it, be able to hear it within 50 feet, okay? I can hear it from all the way over there. So if you would, can you just turn it down just a little bit? I can gladly turn it down for you, officer. Right. Absolutely. No, turn it down. Yeah, yeah, I can turn it down. That's what... Oh, I thought you said turn it up. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got him on the speaker. I said turn it down, man. How'd you, how'd you mishear that? Uh, I got you guys. Sorry, I got sorry. you. No problem. Right. No problem. You guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think we handed you our city ordinance. Oh, uh, no, no. That was this brother right here. You handed. I never got it, but he did. Gotcha. Hey, uh, officers, I don't want to like, can you guys kind of move out of the way of the speaker? Yo, you can go that way. I just don't want to blast it in your eardrums, you know? No, no, you're good. I try, to, I try to slow down when people walk past it, too. I don't want to cause problems. We're not here for that, so. No, I know, I know. Yeah. This officer just said 50 feet too. So. No, 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 no. He, he just corrected himself. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. Sorry. But I'm not trying to okay. just yet. To my understanding, we can't put it in towards traffic either, right? Like across yeah. walkways? Yeah, you can't have it in the traffic and just, uh, it's got to just, we just can't, you, you just can't be able to hear it from at least 50 feet or something. Sure. It's just, it's our city ordinance. I'm all for, you know, yeah. doing it on there. Y'all good. I'm not planning on shut down or anything. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course not. But Absolutely. It's just, it's got to be, you can't hear what it is. Yeah, well, we're reasonable. Um, I that, that's, are. I that, are. Yeah, yeah, that's not 50 feet away, so we're going to we're gonna make sure we can be heard by that. But, I mean, freedom of speech, it, it, it implies the right to be heard. If you can't be heard, it's not freedom of speech. So, you know, that's kind of where we're at with that. Like, our goal is to reach them. Um, we're not trying to be belligerent or come against you all in any way. We're real law-abiding law -abiding citizens. And, you know, this is a constitutionally protected thing, so, you know. I appreciate y'all being cordial and reasonable about it. Y'all don't, don't seem like you're being harsh or nothing, so. Not at all. Yeah. We're not you. trying to uh, put that out there. We're oh, you're good. I'm just gonna wait till this. Let know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna wait till this is settled before I start preaching again. I, I just want to make sure everything's oh, you can good. Go ahead, you go. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I appreciate you. Thank you. Don't let me hinder what you're doing. Oh, you're not. You're not. Trust me. You're not. Yes, this man named Jesus Christ, what did he do? He came into this world and died on a cross to set you free from your sin. How are you living for the Lord Jesus Christ tonight? Out here, getting drunk, rubbing against each other half naked. You know, today y'all are celebrating a day called St. Patrick's Day. We have people come up to us all the time and they say, well, y'all aren't saints, there are no more saints. Saints are in the Bible. Well. There's a bit of a problem with that. You see, you, you're okay celebrating a day and calling somebody St. Patrick, but you're not okay to, to commit your life to Christ and become a saint yourself. The, the Bible, where Paul wrote the epistles to the churches in the Bible, he didn't write it to the sinners in Corinth. He didn't write it to the sinners in Galatia. He didn't write it to the sinners in Ephesus. He didn't write it to the sinners in Rome. He wrote it to the saints, the dearly beloved, those who were living holy for God and not for themselves. They were doing what God wanted them to do. How are you walking in this world for Jesus Christ tonight? What are you doing with his death, burial, and resurrection? Please serve the Lord Jesus Christ with your whole mind, soul, body, spirit, and strength tonight. Give your life to Christ where you have time. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of mercy. Today is the day of forgiveness. But tomorrow could be judgment day for you. At any moment, you can die from anything. You can die from an aneurysm. You can die from a heart attack. You can die from alcohol poisoning. You can die from anything. Get hit by a car on your way over to the next bar. 
This is possible. It's real. It is reality. It is a real thing. And you can laugh and scoff and mock at the preaching of the gospel all you want. It does not change the fact that this gospel is true. That this message that we bring to you tonight is the same message that Jesus himself preached. Repentance of sin, holiness, living for the Lord, becoming born again. You must become born again in order to, to live your life for Jesus Christ. You must die to yourself and live holy for God. It's the only way you'll be saved. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. What does this mean? Well, this means that Muslims don't go to heaven. Buddhists don't go to heaven. Agnostics don't go to heaven. Hindus don't go to heaven. Liars don't go to heaven. Fornicators don't go to heaven. Homosexuals don't go to heaven. And uh, atheists don't go to heaven. Agnostics don't go to heaven unless they repent and go to Jesus. That's the only way that they can go to heaven. It's the only option offered to them freely. Nothing else is going to work. Nothing else will save you. Not yet. You have to understand, God wants you to be set free and saved and born again and walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. The Bible says, if you walk in the spirit, you will cease to fulfill the lusts of the flesh. What, are, what, what is the lust of the flesh? Well, it's part of the love of this world. The love of this world is enmity with the Father. What is the love of the world? The lusts of the flesh, the lusts of the eyes, and the pride of life. That's, those are the things that God despises. That, he, that If you practice those things, you do not have the love of God in you. The lusts of the eyes, you see it, you want it. You do anything you can to get it. The lust of the flesh, fulfilling your fleshly desires to get high and drunk and have sex and fornicate. And the pride of life, telling lies and thinking you're self-righteous, thinking that you're okay with God when you're living in willful sin, having the audacity to think you're right with God when you sin against Him daily. That's the pride of life. I don't need to explain pride to you people. I'm sure you know all about it. We live in a love is love, prideful community nowadays. Everybody wants to peddle homosexuality and say they're born that way. But as soon as they meet a pedophile, they say, oh, no, you're not born that way. Well, what's the difference? Homosexuality and pedophilia, they're both a sexual attraction. How can you choose one over the other as someone's born this way, but someone's not born that way? Both are hurtful. Both kill people. Both lead to death. Listen, man, you're not going to be that prideful on Judgment Day. You're not. You're not going to stand before God and scream and, and holler and act like you're a big tough guy. You're gonna... Are you saying gay people weren't born that way? No, they're not born that way. So, Are murderers born murderers? Are liars born liars? Okay, so we choose what we do in this world. You're born an innocent baby. Right. So you think... So you no, think... that's not true. So do you think... I'm dying to live, actually. So do you think... Um... People, yeah. gay people are going to hell. If they don't repent and give up, here's the thing. If a gay person loves their sexuality more than Jesus, yes, they'll go to hell. You have to love Jesus more than everything. You know, Jesus said in, in Luke 14, 26, if any man comes after me and does not hate his father and mother, his brother and sister, his son, his daughter, his wife, even his own life also, he's not worthy to be my disciple. The word hate in Greek means two things. One, it's a lack of love altogether. And two, it's a lesser form of love. Jesus is saying you have to love him more than everything else. All of it, your sexuality, your identity, who you are, you have to put that on the side and follow Jesus. Otherwise, you're not worthy to be his disciple. He who puts his hand on the plow and looks backwards is not fit for the kingdom. That's what Jesus said. I'm not telling a gay person that they're not allowed to be attracted to other um, people of the same sex. What I'm saying is if they act on that attraction and they don't repent and they die in that state, they will go to hell. And that's what Jesus said. In the beginning, God made them male and female. A man shall leave his mother and father and cling to his wife. That's the way that God made it. You know, and I don't hate gay people. I don't hate anybody. I love everybody. That's why I'm out here telling this to people. I want them to be saved. I want them to have a relationship with God because a relationship with God is way more important than a relationship with a, uh, another person. You know? Well, no, that's not true. The Bible doesn't say that. Well, so what, what sin is more powerful than the spirit of God? No, we're not perfect. Well, no, actually, we are perfect in Christ. God, Christ perfects us. Right, but we can never be perfect. You're right. And, Jesus said what's not possible with man is possible with God. So if you have the spirit of God in you, you can now do the impossible and stop sinning. So do you sin? Not anymore. I could. I choose not to. There's times since I'm coming to Christ where unfortunately to my own shame I have fallen into sin. But I could have overcome it. We all fell short of the glory of God. You're right. We do, fall, we do fall short. But falling short isn't necessarily sinful. 
That's the, you're, you're construing sin with falling short. Those two yeah, things are right. not synonymous with each other. So what do you consider sin? Like, you say you don't sin now, so what do you consider sin? Well, I said, I said I have no sin in my life at the moment. I've been forgiven of my past sins, and I have no plans to sin in the future. That's what I meant. I don't think anybody have plans to sin, just like yeah. murderers weren't born murderers. Exactly. And they chose to do it. Yeah, they choose to do so it. So nobody plans. I mean, I don't really think that they choose to do it. Me personally. So, I mean, so something's forcing them to have sex with the same gender? Are you straight? Yes, I'm straight. So, as a straight person, you don't even, like, have knowledge of what it feels. That's like saying God made you be straight. Well, how do you know that? Exactly, I don't know that. Well, you, you know, it's natural for a man to be attracted to a woman because that's the way that biology works. That's right. the way God biology? made it. Yeah. Yeah, biology. Meaning biology, I mean... You've given half of a reproductive system, and, and the male has been given the other half. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too I'm not gonna get too vulgar with it, but I, I'll tell you this: a man. I don't think that's. I don't think that has nothing to do with being attracted to a sex. That has something to do with the make of the male, the male and female body. So how do people keep going by homosexuals? No, I'm not. No. Saying it. Yeah, let me. Can I ask you a question? Do, does a homosexual union between two men bring forth a baby? No. So do, does it bring forth? But a homosexual female can produce a baby. Well, not without a man. Yes, she yes, can. No, not without a man. Yes, she can. She not without a man. She can get Listen, sir, I don't know if you know this, but I don't know if you know this, but a woman cannot get pregnant without sperm that came from a man. Right, but she doesn't. Okay, but that sperm came from where? Where did the sperm come from? She doesn't have to. A man, right? Not a woman, right? Okay. Listen, I understand what you're saying with the fake yeah. and then the. But no, no, I'm not sitting here. I'm not. There's people who can't even have babies. Right? right. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not even arguing that the fact that, you know, that having a baby is what makes life. What I'm saying is that homosexuality leads to death. It cannot produce life. It, it, life does not come forth from that unnatural action. That's, right. that's all I'm trying to tell you. But that's not true because a it's woman true. can be homosexual and then she cannot perform any sexual activity You're right. You're with right. a male. But guess and what? She still can guess what? That sperm still came from a man who ejaculated, okay? Right, and I, and I can be a homosexual, ejaculate, and give my sperm to a bank, and then a female can, therefore, inseminate herself with my That doesn't sperm. make your homosexuality right. That doesn't justify that, your homosexuality. That just, that just con um, contradicted what you just no, said. No, it did not. No, it yes, did not. it did. You said, what does homosexual do? It doesn't procreate. It You're right. Death. No, but what I'm asking you is if you and you and one other man are left on an island by yourself. I got you. I got you. I'm no, no, hear, you. hear me out. Hear me out. If you and one man are left on an island by yourselves, no... It, no, none of the, that technology and science and turkey pastries to insert into a woman, no women around, how are you going to have a baby? How are you going to bring forth life by yourselves on that island? It's not going to happen. It's not. You need help from man-made objects that are unnatural, that were not designed in God's creation, that that's we like made. Saying, that's like saying a male and a female stuck on an island, but neither have the desire to procreate. That creates death, because they're both going to die. Okay. So it, it all contradicts itself, it counteracts the claim that you're saying. Well, well, that's not true because our desires can change over time. So those two, that man and woman's desire could eventually become, let's have a child and, and pro propagate the species. You don't know that. But if a man and a man have the desire to have a baby, there's nothing they can do. Nothing. They can't do it. That's the difference. As a Christian and a homosexual male, I don't think that this leads to death. And I don't think that, I think that you're born this way. So is a pedophile born a pedophile? Well, it's a sexuality. They're attracted to children. A pedophile is not a sexuality. Yes, it is. A pedophile is a sexual act. So you're not, you're not recognizing minor attracted people. What? You're not, uh, you're not recognizing minor attracted people. People who are attracted to minors. That's a real thing. It's a real, it's a psychological issue that people struggle with, that they are attracted to children. Some don't act on it, some do. It is a sexuality. It's what they desire to do. No different than a man is attracted to another man or a man is attracted to a woman. There are people out there who are attracted to children. That is a sexuality. That's not a sexuality. Yes, it is. Bestiality is a sexuality. Pedophilia is a sexuality. It's an attraction to children. And you're, you're just completely getting rid Anybody who has that temptation, you're just throwing them out. They don't exist. But if we did that to homosexuals, that'd be a problem. You see, this is where your this is where your hypocrisy falls in, and it breaks down. I'm not being hypocritical. No, you are because you don't believe a pedophile is born that way, but you believe a homosexual is born that way. That's hypocrisy. No, I say I don't think pedophiles are born that way. 
well, you're wrong. You, you're thinking wrong. And I love you. That's why I'm telling you that. I don't hate you. I if really don't. The case, if that's the case, murderers are born that way. They're not. That, I'm arguing no one's born that way. You're arguing they are. So the burden of proof is upon you, not me, my friend. Well, guess what? It's, you say Jesus or hell. All I know is I don't give a fuck. Don't go to hell, man. I love you, man. I care about you, all right? You got to get rid of that homosexuality. Hey, bro, you want to preach? Yeah, he's done. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Feeling do led to do some one on ones. No homos. What? Gotta get rid of the homosexuals. I, I don't hate homosexuals. I neither do I. But it is in the Bible that man should not lay with man. You're right, it is in the Bible. Does it, I, I don't hate them. Jesus. I don't hate them either, but I still think it's wrong. Of course it's wrong. I agree with you, 100%. Are you, are you living in, are you living in, are you living in sin? Are you living in sin? Like, do you, let me ask you a question. Do you watch pornography? Okay, do you masturbate? No, you yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Do you have sex with her? Yeah. Okay, that's sexual immorality. So, I'll admit to that. Okay, well, no, I'm not trying to pitch you in a corner here. I just want to be real with you because we have to be logically consistent in the faith of God because God is a God of logic and reason. Jesus said, judge not lest you be judged, for by the judgments you use, you will be judged by. How can you say to your brother, you have a speck in your eye when you possess a log in your own? First, remove the log from your eye, then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brothers. You're trying to remove the speck from a homosexual's eye, but you possess a log of a fornication with your girlfriend in your own eye. You have to Stop having yeah, sex with your you girlfriend before you can. No, I don't think you do. They're both sins that lead unto death. It's sexual immorality. One's not above the other. They're, they're both just as heinous to God. They are. Yeah, it's an abomination to God for a man to have sex outside of marriage with a woman, just as much as it is for a man to have sex outside. There's a lot of that going around. There is. You're right. And that, but it, it is very terrible. And like I said, I'm not trying to rebuke you or anything like that. I just want to be honest with you because that's what we're out here to do to tell people the truth. And it's good that you disagree with homosexuality. That's good. But don't let it cause you to treat homosexuals differently, right? You have to love them just as much as Christ loved the church, right? Okay, just keep that in mind, my friend. God bless you. You're wrong. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave because you seem to not think that God loves everyone. You're gonna leave because you're wrong. You're gonna leave because you're wrong. Because you're wrong. God loves everyone. Hey, man, I'll say it to your camera, bro. God loves everyone regardless of your beliefs, your sexuality, what you believe. Who goes to hell? God, who goes to hell? That's your opinion. God loves No, who, who goes to hell? Hey man, hey man, if you want to be a bigot, who goes to hell? For what they want to who goes to hell? That's your problem. Why are you so bigoted God against us? Everyone, why are you so bigoted hey against man, us? That's why you're standing outside a club doing nothing. Uh, you're bigoted. You're a bigot. Hey man, you're a bigot. You're a hypocrite. Stop being a hypocrite. God loves everyone. God loves everyone. Hey, who goes, hey, who goes to hell? Who goes to hell, man? What a liar. Man, what a coward. 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 So wide is the gate and broad is the way which leads to destruction. And there are many to go in front. But narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. This is the words of Jesus Christ. This is not my opinion. No. Nope. Nope. So you accept pedophiles? Oh boy, that's not what I. Oh, oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it is. There's this hypocrisy. Accept everyone, but not pedophiles. What is it? You accept everyone or you don't? What is it? Come on, man. Come on, man. I accept everyone. Hey, man. You don't accept pedophiles. You don't accept pedophiles. Yeah, I'm talking about religion, not that shit. You said sexuality. Pedophilia is a sexuality. No, it's not. We're in college, unlike you. No, you're using the fallacy, sir. You're using the fallacy, sir. Was it like Fortnite Battle Pass University? No, dude, you're using the argument from authority because everyone agrees with you. You're right. No, you have a fallacy and you're a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. You call us no. bigots, hey, but you're a bigot home. to us. Hey, we're gonna go home, have fun with our friends, here. and you love everyone regardless of their sexuality. And if you stay that way, you're gonna go to hell. Alright, have fun standing on the side. I will accept anyone, any religion. Have fun being inconsistent. Have fun not understanding philosophy in any way. Have fun being ignorant. Alright, but hey, we're done, we're done.
Hey man, keep standing outside like losers. Repent of your sins. Take care, man. Repent of your sins. Be born again. Yo, y'all funny, bro. Y'all funny. What's your skill? How you doing? Uh, Do you know him? Is your friend? Yeah, he is. But you're good, man. I'd like to like talk to you. Yeah, I'd love to talk to you. Yeah, I'd love to talk to him too. Yeah, more, more, more respectfully. Of course. It's because. Either whether or not we agree, I, uh, I'm sorry. Whether or not we agree on our opinions, I just like to have a conversation. So do I. I see the cross on your neck. Are you a Christian? You're born again. You're not born again. Uh, oh, God loves Let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Sure. May I ask you what you would interpret as born again? I would interpret it the way that Jesus said. He said, unless a man is born again, first of the, uh, of the water and of the spirit, then he will not enter into the kingdom of God. Being born again is to repent of your sin, to forsake your sin, and to walk for God instead of yourself. To deny yourself daily, to die to yourself, to crucify your members, to beat your body into submission, to overcome temptation through the grace of God, and stop walking in willful sin. That's what being born again is, to experience the love of God and have a relationship with him and be faithful to him as he is faithful faithful to you. That's what being born again is. Respectfully, I disagree. I disagree with your opinion. Okay, what is your opinion on being born again? Actually, no, I have my apologies, my apologies. Oh, you're good. Hey, man, don't, don't touch me, though, okay? No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, I respect you. No, we're good. We're good. Just, no, no, my apologies. I understand. Yeah, no, you're fine. I'm not offended. I just, you know what I mean? We're good. We're good. No, I completely understand. We're good. Continue. Go ahead. You're good. Um, so, born again, what's your opinion? Perhaps, perhaps born again is your opinion because rightfully, like, I saw I made born, that guy's big part of Okay. Which, so do you believe being born again is a being baptized? Hey, these guys are okay, so are there any, is there anyone out there who's been baptized who went to hell? Perhaps. So then being baptized isn't being born again? It depends on your opinion. Not, like, let's go. No, 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 let's go. No, 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 let's go. Let's go. Yeah, take this, take this. Trust. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust. I don't. I they want views no. for their kids. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. They're right. Dude, they, they want views. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. I've got all the conversations. Yeah. Hey, feel free to talk. Feel free to leave. It's your choice. Yo, yo, respect. Yo, go away. Go away. Because respect me. No matter what, if I disagree or agree with you, I'm not going to harm you or touch you in any way. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I have a great high priest who's going to protect me one way or the other. Yeah, I'll be fine. I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with you. Like, me as a Christian, I'm not going to put my hand... Yo, yo, fuck, yo, fuck, yo, fuck, Hey, hey, don't don't get violent. Don't get violent, okay? Don't get violent. Don't get violent. I, I appreciate that. I, you're, I get where you're coming, but don't don't push him, okay? Don't be violent. Alright? We're good? So as we were saying, your your opinion of being born again. We we stated that possibly you believe it's being baptized. What else do you think it could be? No, it's okay. Let him do his thing, bro. As long as he doesn't touch me, he's fine. It's good. It's all good. Okay. Right. My my opinion on being free. Sorry, how do you say it? I'm born again. Born again. Right? That's what I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah. Can I, are you are you intoxicated right now? Slightly. Slightly intoxicated. I can tell. Pussy! Your demeanor. Um, no, you know, no. you do know that the Bible says drunkards will go to hell. You understand that if you die right now in this moment, well, you're drunk. You don't have salvation. Yes, sir. I do you know that, right? Yes, is, is that not fearful to you? No, sir. It should I, be. I, I, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. My opinion on the matter. Don't, you. Do not touch him. Do not touch him. Do not touch him. Hey, 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 hey! Don't, him. don't get violent. Don't get violent. Don't get violent. I know we're good. Just don't, don't get violent. I'm just gonna, I'm just cool. Move him That's fine. That's I'm fine. Just gonna move him away from yeah, yeah. Just don't, don't, don't do the push thing. He's gonna assault okay? you. Yeah. Of course. No, 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 no. He, he's fine. I, I've dealt with this thing kind of all the time. As long as he doesn't get violent with me, it's fine. It's good. I was respect this. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you. Thank he's you. my friend. I know. And I, I, I know. I can he's, tell. He's heavily intoxicated. <laughs> Obviously, Do you usually push your friends that hard? Because that's, I would never push a friend of mine that hard, man. That was kind of, that was something else, man. But anyways. The only way, the, the only way I'm going to be honest with you, because I feel like we could be honest with each other. Of course, we have to be. Yeah, I agree. The only reason I'm as aggressive with him is because if I'm not, he's going to do something that is going to get him in serious trouble. Okay. And I'm personally not willing to let that happen. That's fine. You can yeah, do that. That's but the here, only look, we're, we're here talking. Help you learn the truth about life. Help you learn the truth about life. Okay, as I was saying, 
We were, we were talking about your situation right now. What is your name? I'm Chris. Chris, I'm Paul. It's yeah, nice, nice to meet you, Chris. Chris. Listen, the Bible says that drunkards will have their part in the lake of fire, okay? Right now, I, I, I have a concern for your soul. I am deeply in fear for your soul right now because I don't want something to happen to you and you die and stand before an almighty righteous God. Your 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 mind might be in the right place, but you're. Yo, give me give me like five minutes. Give me five minutes. So so your your mind is in the right place, but your heart is not for Jesus. You profess him with your mouth, but your heart is far from him. And I'm gonna give you scripture to show you what I mean, okay? Jesus said no no yeah you're good. Jesus said in Matthew 7:21. Not all who say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter my kingdom. Do you say, Lord, Lord, to Jesus? Yes. Okay. He said, not all who say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter my kingdom. Only those who do the will of the Father who is in the kingdom already. Okay. He said, many will say in the last days, Lord, have we not cast out demons for you? Done mighty works in your name. and done miracles for you. And Jesus responds to them, not by denying their works. He doesn't say they didn't do those things. He says, depart from me. You who live in sin, I don't know you. So my question to you is, are you absolutely sure that if you die in this moment, God is gonna say to you, welcome into my kingdom, good and faithful servant? Or is he gonna say to you, depart from me, you who live in sin, I don't know you. How do you know for a fact that you are saved? Respectfully? Yeah. I'm gonna answer as honestly as possible. No, of course. Because I believe that's the only way to answer things. A absolutely. Am I sure? I'm gonna give you heaven. Yeah. No, I am not sure. Okay. That's up to God and up to Jesus. That's a hard thing to admit out loud. Uh, you're I, very humble for saying am, that. Am I wrong? You're, no, you're not. Uh, you're not. It's up to them. Okay, you're, you said it's up to Jesus to decide, right? Agreed. But you know, hold on, please yeah. let me finish my No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. The, the um, part with, with drinking alcohol. Yeah. My respectful point is if Jesus was able to turn water into wine. Correct. Then I believe personally, and I like I'm not gonna fight you one way or another. Well, yeah, we're not gonna fight. Just, yeah, it's not gonna go well, there. I'm yeah, not, like obviously fight. Of course. Like, well, I, I don't fight. I turn the other cheek. So any, I don't respect think you will. You. I don't believe you will. But if you punch me, I turn you the other cheek. Obviously, I'm not gonna. Punch I know you're not. I know you're not. Yeah, I'm of no course. Quarrel. I'm the quarrel with you. Of course, I saw what I you did quarrel. to your friend for trying to come over to me. So I believe you. I, yeah, I do. It's like respectfully, it's like. I don't want to get too far off on the red hair. Yeah. Okay. So I'll say this: just I believe personally. Yeah. Jesus turns water to wine, and I believe, therefore, sure. he is accepting of alcohol. Okay. So and that's my opinion on the matter. Yeah, so I have two things to respond to that. Okay. Firstly, you, you said it's up to Jesus to decide whether you're saved. Jesus and God himself. Je yeah, amen. It's up to God to decide. Jesus already decided. He said, I have come so that you will know that you have life. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I come to give you life and life more abundantly. So Jesus said you can be certain in your salvation, but there's a condition to it. He said, if you keep the th my, uh, uh, if you keep what my sayings, then you, I, me and the Father will love you. I kind of butchered that a little bit, but it basically he's saying, if you do what I say, you can know that you're saved. Okay, that's first. Secondly, yes, Jesus did turn water to wine. Okay, but that does not mean it's okay to get drunk. Firstly, secondly. Do you know when Jesus turned water to wine? They, they was at a, a wedding. Do you know wh what day of that wedding he had turned water to wine to? Respectfully, the third off day. The top of my head, no, it's okay. The third day. So let me get this straight. You believe that the wine Jesus turned water into was alcoholic, right? I don't. I don't agree, and I'm going to give you scripture as to why I don't agree. Okay? It may have been slightly in alcoholic, like less than 0.05 percent, like less than the legal limit, and that's allowed in your blood while you're driving, like way less. Like think kombucha. You know, you don't even need a license to buy it. Okay? But so for for two days, people had been drinking wine already. Okay? For two days straight at this wedding, and people had been drinking and consuming wine. Let's say it's alcoholic, okay? I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not going on my phone to No, you're, you're fine. You. No, you're fine. Sure I'm okay just, I just want you to hear this, okay? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Jesus, on the third day of the wedding, turns water into the best possible wine that you can ever drink, okay? You, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna give you time. I don't. I wanna keep you on this yeah, train of thought. No, go ahead, do, do your thing, do your thing. I just gotta, I just gotta. No, do, do your thing, do your thing, you're good. With them and go ahead, do, 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 do your thing, do your thing. Okay. 
So check it out. Jesus turned water to wine on the third day of a wedding. So for the first two days, all the people at the wedding had been consuming alcohol, according to you. And here we are on the third day of them consuming alcohol and they ran out of alcohol. And Jesus turned water into wine and gave them the best possible alcohol possible, according to your theory, and told them, don't get drunk. Do you think that's a logical, reasonable, loving thing for a righteous God to do? Of course it's not. They had been consuming wine for two days and they consumed the best wine possible. The man who hosted the wine, uh, the wedding came out and said, most people serve the good wine first and save the worst wine for last when people have become merry. But you have saved the best wine possible for last. So we know that what Jesus turned water into was the best possible form of wine, according to the scripture in that situation right there, okay? If it was alcoholic, they would have gotten drunk, but they didn't get drunk because Jesus said all drunkards go to hell and he would never give somebody the ability to get drunk and provide for them a means to do so. That's not a righteous God. We know that Jesus is God. You said that. God told Noah when the water oh, bubbles. Sorry, sorry. Respectfully, God is my God. Yeah. Jesus is my Savior. Amen. Okay, so that's good. I, I, I do not agree with what you just said. Where Jesus is my God, because he is not my God. He is my Savior. Okay, that's he's fine. The Son of God is my Savior, but he's not my God. Jesus is not your God. I mean, he is, but like, my God is God. Jesus is God. Jesus is my Savior. Yeah. Jesus, the Son of God. In the Old Testament, savior. the Israelites said that God is their Savior. Okay? Jesus is God. God is your Savior. There's nothing wrong with thinking that Jesus is God and that he is your Savior. It's not wrong to call God your Savior. That's exactly who your Savior is, God. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not unbiblical in any way, okay? So I understand you disagree with me on the point of view of alcohol. Just know I don't condemn people for consuming alcohol. I don't. I completely understand that. Yes. I I tell people that I tell people that getting drunk is a sin. See, me personally, I disagree. But I completely respect your opinion on that. Because your opinion is as equal to my opinion. In okay. my opinion. So I'm not actually giving you my opinion. I'm telling you scripture. I've cited to you Bible verses. I've shown you over and over from the word of God why I believe this. So you you have quoted your opinion, and I respect that. But I've quoted you scripture, not my own beliefs. Okay? I've told you what the word of God says. Now listen, Mr. Chris, I know you got to get to your friends. I, I appreciate you talking. I thank you for having a heart of the humbleness and being willing to discuss this with me. This is for you. It doesn't have my name or number. There's no donation page. All that is is scripture. I want you to put it in your pocket, and I want you to read it tomorrow when you sober up. Okay? I will. I will. And I'll God bless you, Mr. Chris. Yeah, my name is Paul. Paul? Paul, like the guy Paul. in the Bible. Chris, it was good to meet you, Paul, Mr. Chris. I'm going to pray for you, you okay? You, likewise. I'm going like, to pray for you, okay? Would you like to do a prayer right no, now? No, no, no. I'm not going to pray with you right now. You're, you're in open, willful sin. You, you've gotten drunk on purpose. You're, you're currently intoxicated. I can't pray with you right now. But I will pray for you later. You have my word, okay? okay. God I bless you, Mr. Chris. I disagree with you. That's fine. But I will also pray for you later. Of course. Just remember to read that card, okay? God bless you. rest of your night. You too. Thank you for being cordial, okay? Thank you. There's no, in my opinion, there's no reason to not be cordial. Of course. Because you guys are saying you're uh, pursuing to the first amendment of the United States of Constitution. Amen. They're portraying your religion. You, you, have, a, you have a good night, Mr. Chris, okay? You as well. You have a good night. God bless you. God bless you, yeah. Bro, that guy was so humble, bro. Yeah, yeah, Dude, he was so humble, man. Seat snatcher was kind of Wow. Dude, he pushed the seat snatcher away. Wow. I mean, I was not happy. I was not happy he did that. But like, and I told him, don't be violent. I told him too. I said, don't be violent. Like, stop your violence. You know? I told him, don't be violent, man. Don't do that. So. God is so good, brother. Yeah, he was very humble, very humble. I believe, I, I believe the Lord planted a seed yeah. for him tonight. Yeah, I said to him, I said, man, I'm glad, I'm glad you're humble. Oh, here they come. Here they come. They're back. I accept all religions. I love all religions. Here they are. They're still here. They can't leave. He that works in equity, I never knew you. Go to heaven. Don't go to hell. Because that's what it is. But Jesus said, He that doeth the will of 
of my Father which is in heaven. Are you doing the will of God the Father in heaven right now? By walking around in no shirts, taking pictures and selfies, acting tough and cool? Oh, folks, don't you understand all your talking and all your childish behavior? When you stand before God in heaven, you're going to be like a little baby. Oh, the cigarettes are going to be like a little baby. He was humble. Going to, going to but then, he became God. It's all gonna burn. Yeah, he said that, sir. Yeah, he said that, sir. All right, hey, you plant, you plant, you plant, brother, you planted, I watered, let God bring the increase, man. Just let God bring the increase, brother. No, sir. Let God bring the increase, brother. No, sir. Just let God bring the increase, brother. No, sir. You'll be crying like a baby, sir. You'll be afraid at that moment because right now you're thinking about the prospect of the lake of fire. Where you'll burn forever. No, says the man, going. says the man being perverted. No, no. I tell you this because I love you and I don't want you to burn in hell. Nobody hates but you, sir. You hate the word of God. But God loves you. Sir, you're hateful. You know that? You're hateful. Why are you so hateful to us? What did we do to you? Because you don't respect gay people. We respect gay people enough to tell them the truth. I was talking to him. He said, this is he said, I need to repent and fucking... You do. Jesus said, all men must repent or they will perish. In Luke 13, well, 3 and 5. That. Well, that's fine. No, that's fine. You don't have to believe that. But just know this, okay? God loves you. He died to set you free from your sin. But I if you keep... God loves me too for being for okay. gay. No, I, you guys look, don't believe I'm not telling... We love everyone. We're God. We love gay people. Don't let your friend everyone. drag you away from the word of God. Hey, have fun standing outside. You need to repent, you wicked sinner. You wicked sinner. You sin supporter. You're just as guilty as he is. You're going to go to hell if you don't stop. You need to stop walking this way. You can't come against the preaching of the gospel like this and think you're okay with God. You're not okay. No, you're good. I'm not forgetting about you, bro. You're good. Listen, bro. You're going to give an account for this, okay? You're going to stand before God and give an account for this, all right? You need to repent. I care about you. I love you. Turn to Jesus. Jesus wanted to ridicule people. For yeah, he called them whitewashed tombs and children of Satan. Yes, he did. He called a woman a dog. He, that's what he did. He called a woman a dog. I mean, you might not believe it, but it's in the scriptures. That's what it says. All right. They are. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. That seems pretty harsh to me. Have you ever done the slingshot? Nope. Never will either. I couldn't do that. No, I'd die. You know, Jesus would save you for that. No, he wouldn't. But you know what's going to happen if you don't repent of your sins, man? You're going to get slingshotted straight into hell. I don't want that for you. No, I think Jesus is understanding of everyone of all. Well, you're wrong. You think wrong. No. I can give you Bible scripture that shows the opposite. No. I just talked to that man for a while. He came to a different group. Well, you don't believe the Bible, I guess. I do. But do you know, so you believe Jesus when he said, not all who say to me, Lord, will enter my kingdom. I will be right back. All right, I'll be over here. I'm enjoying this. What is the GoPro for? Your safety? Many things. That's one of them. Do you get money off of like, No, I pay money to do this. I don't make money off of a YouTube channel. No, absolutely not. No, you're good. You're fine. Yeah, And I gotta get back to him because we were having a great time. Oh, you're talking about the one all the way at the end? No, 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 right there, right next to you. Oh, this is my brother. Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. This is my Why don't we come over here? Let's talk with him, too. Uh, I wanted to hear your opinion. Okay. Yeah, come on. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, bro, he said he wants to come back and keep talking to you. We got the two So Where did we leave off? So, let me just say, we're going to continue the dialogue. Don't worry about anybody else. Let's just dialogue between you and me. Okay. It's hard not to because, because these people are, are just saying crazy things to people. Well, if you have a contention with them, just go talk to them. Yeah. They, there, there's no need because they have this megaphone. That's ridiculous. Maybe I'll be your contention. Okay. So, if, if we continue...
my face and let his blood cleanse you from all unrighteousness and sin so that you might be born again and be baptized in water. Let's we'll switch for a second. Just a second. I'm, I'm gonna go down there. I think this sign might reach the people down there better. I'm gonna bring it right back to you. I'm just gonna go over there and flash it real quick. See if I can draw some people in, okay? For the remission of sins, that your sins would be washed away by the blood of Jesus. you therefore and be converted turn from your wicked ways no, we don't turn from your sin your fornication your drunkenness your homosexuality your lying your thieving your cheating your stealing and turn to Jesus the one who loves you you say you love God you say you love Jesus you say you have a church on Sunday it's all a service it's all speaking it's all talking it's all walking in it it's all hip service we're all sinners. <laughs> it's like if I told my wife that I love her and cheat on her every day. And it's telling her I love her. Can, can I ask you a question? I live a holy now. Hey, can I, ask, can I ask you a question? Yes. It's okay, I don't want to interrupt you. I'm sorry. You, you said everyone's a sinner. We all sin. Are you omniscient? Do you know every single person on earth? I do not. So how can you make a claim about every single person on earth when you don't know them? He says we all sin. He said the same thing. No, I agree with him. I just want to say that. But I'm asking you right now. You're telling me that 99% of the people in this world are not sin. I never said that. Okay, let's establish our terms here. Okay, let's be logical. What do you think sin is? Your portion. I mean, you give me, you give me a... Well, no, no, I'll tell you mine, but mine's based on the Bible. Tattoos are sin. Uh, yes, well, in a, in a sense, not always, okay? I used to think that, but then I kind of, I experienced something myself that showed me tattoos aren't necessarily sinful. I don't rebuke people for having tattoos. What you call this a sin? What you call that a sin? No, I wouldn't call that a sin. I'm not saying it's not a sin. I'm not saying it is a sin. I don't know. Give me one definition of a sin. Okay, the book of James says, he who knows to do right but does not do it to him it is sin so if you know to do something that is right and you don't do it it's sinful if you know to throw something away that's trash when you drop it on the ground anyway it's a sin okay also the uh, first corinthians chapter 6 starting at verse 9 gives a list of things that are sinful now it's not an abundant list it's not everything that's sin but it's a big one and follow me Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. So Paul is saying, don't be deceived by this, okay? No liar, nor fornicator, nor effeminate, nor homosexual, nor reviler, nor extortioner, nor idolater, nor reveler, uh, um, nor drunkard will inherit the kingdom of God. And But as such were some of you, were some of you, but you have been washed clean. You have been sanctified and you are justified by the blood of our Christ, of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the Bible Bible says, the Bible says that if you're a Christian, you're not going to live in willful sin. There's a difference between willful sin and sins of ignorance. I believe you're getting those two things misconstrued. So you're saying if I get drunk? On purpose, that is sin, and that will lead to hell unless you repent and stop doing it. Yes. So I repent of my sins. So you're saying if I repent my sins, I'm good. Sure, but let's look. Establish, ter establish terms again. What is repentance to you? What do you believe repentance is? You want to sit here and justify yourself. Hey, that's part of it, but that's not all of it. That's part of it. The Greek word for repentance is metanoios or metanoia. It means to change your direction, change your mind. So, for instance, a military term.
turn. I'm walking one way, I repent, I turn the other direction and go the exact opposite way. So, perfect example, I'm a liar. I'm telling lies, doing it, enjoying it, getting things from it. Oh, I realize it's wrong, I repent. I start telling the truth, I don't lie anymore, okay? I'm a fornicator, I have sex outside of marriage, I'm walking in it, I repent, I live sober and stop having sex until I get married. Perfect, those are just simple examples. A thief, I stop stealing, get back what I stole, and don't steal anymore and live content. Repentance isn't just saying sorry. If I, if I cheat on my wife and just say sorry, but I keep cheating, how long do you think my marriage is gonna last? Not long. So if you say sorry, God, but you keep on doing the same thing, how long do you think God's gonna keep forgiving you for? I believe he'll forgive you as long as you Well, here's the thing, Romans 1 says opposite. It says eventually God will give you over to your wickedness. That's what he did with Pharaoh. God hardened Pharaoh's heart. Well, that's what the Bible, so you don't agree with the Bible? Well, Romans 1 says God gave them over to their wickedness, their wicked, vile affections. God let, God let, he let go and turned them over to it. Let them have their freedom. They still could have repented, but he let them have it. He said, do what you want. And God, and this is the way it is. Either you say, God, your will be done, or God says, okay, your will be done. Do what you want. But just know there are consequences to your actions. Not everyone who says, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus said out of his own mouth, not everyone who says to me, Lord, will enter my kingdom. Kingdom. Only those who do the will of the Father. Many will say, Lord, in the last days, but I will say unto them, depart from me, you who work sin, I don't know you. These are professing Christians. Not everyone who just believes Jesus goes to heaven. You have to actually obey Jesus. You have to do what he says. How do we know this? But well, Jesus said, why do you call me Lord and not do the things which I ask of you? Jesus told the woman caught in adultery, who he forgave, didn't let the people stone her, right? There's a reason he didn't, because they were hypocrites. They didn't bring the man also. The law said to kill the man and the woman. They didn't bring the man, they just brought the woman. They were hypocrites. Put that aside, okay? Jesus said to her, nor do I condemn you. Now go and sin no more. Would a holy, righteous, perfect God of this universe tell you to do something you were not capable of doing and punish you for eternity if you don't do it? No. God only gives you commandments you are able to keep. So when he said, go and sin no more, he meant it. And it is possible to do it, but you can't do it on your own. The Bible, the, the, the disciples said to Jesus, what then, who can be saved? Jesus said, with man it is not possible, but what is not possible with man is possible with God, okay? If you have the, all right, man. Listen, I'm gonna give you a gospel track, okay? No, 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 this one's for Christians, specifically for Christians. No, of course, so take that, read it, see what it says, heed it, okay, what was your name? I'm Riley. Riley, I'm Paul, it was nice to meet you, Riley. God bless you, okay? God bless you, okay? Good job, bro. You can choose Jesus. Jesus calling you out. He's calling you out. Hey, we can't, we can't go over there. We can't go over there. We can't. We can't go over there. You come here. We cannot walk over there. We are not allowed to. You see, you see the cops? We're not allowed to. We can't go over there. Hey, I didn't mean to steal that encounter from you, bro. Not. I thought the Lord told me to say something. Bro. I did, I did, bro. I'm sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, he was, man. No, you were you were working it out though, dude. You were hitting him. You were hitting him hard, bro. I know. Woo! I so much too. I know. They're good, dude. Praise God, bro. Praise God. He's humble. Yeah. Praise the Lord for that. Because he was kind of puffed up at first. See, what happened was he was so astounded and astonished that you said you don't sin anymore, right? He was just so. How's the possible? You know what I mean? Like, and so and the Lord led me. I was like, let's walk him through these terms. Let's see what he yeah. believes sin is. Let's see what he and believes repentance is. Right. You know? You so we got to the root yeah, of the problem. He was, he seemed to be confused. Yeah, he was definitely confused. He, he, he was getting sins of ignorance and sin, willful sin mixed together. He was thinking that, that they were hand in hand, but they're not. They're different. You know? Think about that. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Love you, bro. The fear of the Lord that cleanses us and makes us afraid of what's going to happen if we continue in our wicked ways. But Jesus said, come unto me all you that labor in our heavy weight. Yes, it is, but I don't want to spend money because I don't have money. We were in the cross, and died in this moment. I had money for that. Right there for you. Right there for you. You a Christian? Same thing. Don't fall away. You can also make a choice to tell Jesus. Don't fall away. Don't fall away.
wicked sinner you you're wicked with the blue hat on you're wicked Oh, 
Oh, did it die? Man, when the Lord showed me, he gave me a revelation of what I really was. He showed me a scripture and revelation where I was going to go and put the fear of God. Me. If, you, if you're a Muslim, you're on your way to hell. If you're a Catholic, you're on your way to hell. If you're a Mormon, you're on your way to hell. If you're sinning and you're on this broad way, you're on your way to hell, folks. Jesus Christ wants to get you right with him. But, but stop, stop sinning, forsake your sins, and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Turn to Jesus. Right. Why you got you your hand in your pants, pervert? You don't have to go to hell. Jesus can set you from your sins. Some of you may be laughing, but you know the Bible says that preaching of the cross is foolishness to them that are perish. You're perishing if, if you're just laughing at us. That's what the Bible says. I'm just a messenger. You guys gave me a four dollar This is God's word. I'll turn to Jesus, folks. He's calling me out of the line tonight, folks. He don't want you to die in your sin. A lot of people say, we all are sinners. And I heard several people tonight say, we are all sinners. What way does it say that Christians are sinners? I don't see it in the scriptures, folks. You have to prove to me in the Bible. But Jesus said, go and sin no more. He didn't say, go and sin no more. He didn't say, go and try your best. Do you agree with he the sign? But you must willing to stop it. Stop the partying. A lot of you come from different states, colleges, and party up with the world. Only God leads lead to hell. But you don't believe in God. According to Romans chapter 1. You believe in God according to chapter 1. Because you are born with a conscience that God, that, that, that you will see God. You know that there's a God. Yes, there is. But you can't be a monster either, folks. Where's God, brother? I said, brother, I shouldn't have. I, I, I caught myself. Oh, brother, no, Ryan. <laughs> no, it was a good one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he was really humble. He was somewhat. I don't know where his heart is, though. Of course. We really can't. To get rid of your friends. But some of you want to hang on to your feelings. But Jesus, he kept walking. He kept carrying that cross. That's what you have to do. You have to deny yourself. Take up your cross daily and follow after him daily. Why don't you come talk to me? Yes, it's worth living for Jesus. It's not worth living in the I think world. you're already corrupted. Oh, I think you're already corrupted. It's a sin. Oh, that's all this drunkenness, drinking, smoking it up, partying it up. There's no we really do want to talk to you. No pleasure in that, folks. We really do. Just temporary, temporary pleasure at least for eternal torment. No, you don't. Oh, you don't. You don't love God. Not dressed like that. Not dressed like that. No. No. There's a lot of professed Christians out here tonight. You say that. I love God. You don't love God. You say that. No, you don't. You don't love God as a sinner. I love God. 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 You don't obey him, though. You don't obey him. <laughs> Folks. Are you to I love it, bro. Are you willing to drop the Oh, thank you, Lord, for Brother Sam. Woo. But we do it for Jesus. Oh, you took a beating, three nails. Are you willing to carry your shadows? Would you take a beating like Jesus did in, in over 2,000 years? Oh, turn to Jesus, folks. There's a lot of weakness going on. Oh, 
I think he did. He was in there. Yeah, I know. I heard that, bro. I saw. I heard his. I heard him say that too. He was in there. Those guys no, were calling him back. Wow. Where's God? Ew. Notice that word, ew. I've had a lot of good one-on-ones -on -one right tonight already, dude. You this has been so fruitful. I know the Lord led us out here tonight. This is amazing. Do you run no rain too. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't the crazy man. This isn't it crazy? It's cold, but no rain. I think about going down there for a few minutes. Love you. Living in My friends. Love your sin. Here you go. That won't lead you to heaven, folks. He's racist. Did you hear that? You, out here, I mean, you know that it hated me oh, before right. it hated you. <laughs> if you were of the world, the world would love his own. Yeah. Take care. Is that not true? Did you hear what Is she said when she walked away, bro? Yeah. She said he's racist. Why? I don't know, you dude. She said that. I heard it. I was like, what in the world did he do to you? What? I'm so confused. Yeah, mine too. Remember, the world that I said I'm to you. Yeah, let's do it. The world is not greater than his. Lord, if they have persecuted me, they will also per Probably persecute leave you. Soon, bro. Like, if they have done. helped me, yeah. Okay. Same. All right, we'll be quick. They will we'll be quick. You know, but all these things, but they will be for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. I have not gone to service to them. I'm already finished. Appreciate you. You got to turn him and live for him. You can't just say that. Oh. That doesn't save you. No, no, relax. We're just talking. We're just talking. So, you can, you can say. I have a religious family. I know what's up. Okay, do you know what the Bible says? What does the Bible say? Because which I don't want you to be deceived. Which part are you talking about? I'm talking to her. She's talking to me. She's talking to me and I'm talking to okay, her. Okay, I'm talking to you, so hey, stop man. addressing him. Right. So which part hey, of the Bible okay. are you young talking lady, about? Young lady, young lady, listen. Hey, bro. Okay. In the Bible, What's your name? When, it talks about, about when it talks about people following Christ, they obey him. You might think I don't. It talks about how women dress. Listen, bro. Okay, but you, you might you might think I can't relate to you, bro, but I can relate to you. I didn't say you were drunk. I see the eye of horse on your hand, bro. I got it. I got that on my hand too, bro. I can relate to you, man. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Did you get a gospel track, man? Did you get a gospel track? Are you born again Christian? Here, man. That's for you. Okay. What's your name? TJ. I'm PJ. It's nice to meet you, TJ. God bless you. You If you think I'm sitting, then you let, let you think I'm sitting. That's your opinion against mine. You get drunk? That's okay. What? Do you get drunk? Okay. Jesus turned water into wine. To get drunk with? Really? Got it. No. Go Don't ahead. justify your You sin. can walk that way. Go ahead. You can walk too. Like, that's your opinion you're gonna of die the Bible. Hell that's if fine. You. If that's you, fine. If you die in your sin, you're okay, going to Okay, that's fine, but that's my way of interpreting. We're two different your people, way. right? Your way. Two different people, that's right? God's way. That's you're your own God. God. You've created your own God. Oh, right, there. right there. Right there. Right there. But guess what? No, no, I'm not going to shake your hand. No, don't shake your hand. You've created your own God. Have a good one, bro. You I got you. Have a good one. Thank that's you. your Thank opinion. You. That's mine. Thank you. you guys Every need to repent and perish. Repent and perish. Hey, you're right. You're right. Turn to Jesus. Hey, that that guy who went to shake your hand. I talked to him for a couple seconds. He actually is pretty, uh, he's a sinner, but he was, he was a lot more humble, man. I'm not going to shake his hand. Oh, I didn't say you should. I, I wasn't, that to dude, I wasn't saying you, yeah. you need to shake his hand. I was just saying he was really, like. I don't want God to tell you no. Nope. I don't want God to tell you no. Nope. I want you to be saved. like it, sir. Turn to Jesus. Don't be deceived. What in the world are you people doing to yourself with this paint on? Turn to Jesus. Okay, well, Take care. Y'all have a good night. Hey, you too.
It's a little bit more dead tonight. I think the weather might have deterred some people. Maybe. Go put some clothes on. Put some clothes on. Put some clothes on. Now I'll black my titties right now. And I won't look. Some of you in the line is on this down there. On this list. Not looking down there. No, you're not going to How are you doing over here, brother? You tired? Uh, uh, it was. It was a, you labored with them for a while. Yeah. Just kind of. Well, I'll just kind of see what happens. Well, he's, he expressed expressly wanted to talk to you again, and I was coming over with the plan to talk also, but when you. you <laughs> when, you, when you said that you, you wanted to just like I heard the way you were talking, I could tell that was that was all you, man. So I just kind of that. Just go where the spirit leads me. So. Did he uh did he, did you get through to him at all? You think? He's putting on that. Man. I don't know what the Lord might do in his heart, but he's putting on a front and he's just staunch in his ways. You know, I see how I see your perspective, but I'm keeping with mine. You know, type of yeah. Like I, see, I see that you believe two plus two is four, but I just can't let go of five. Yeah. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God. You know, a lot of people say, I, I can't be perfect, but here's the Bible scripture saying that uh, you can overcome temptation. You know that temptation is not a sin, you can overcome it, but you must be willing to have the Holy Spirit. There has no temptation taken you but such as common to man. But God is faithful. We will not suffer you to be tempted of all that we are able. But we will with this temptation also make a way to escape. And you may be also in the Lord. The Bible says you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devil. You cannot be. Y'all give your life to Christ. We already did. It doesn't look like it. Yes, folks. You cannot. Is that your wife? Why, you Why you got your arm around her like, is that your wife? I want her to be my wife, eventually, yeah, okay. we're engaged. So. You're engaged? Y'all having sex? No. No, you're not? That's good, that's good. That You're better than most, man. I, I just assume because of the physical contact, a lot of people out here, when they do that, it means something else, man. It means something else. That's the most judgmental thing I've ever heard from another Christian. That makes really? me feel sad. Really? Are you living in sin? It makes me feel sad. Are you living in sin? I try to live myself after You try. Jesus so you're trying to day. save yourself then. I got you. I'm not perfect. I guess my judgment was correct then, huh? No, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'm, I'm perfect, perfect in Christ. No, you're not. Yes, I am. The only man that was ever perfect was Jesus Jesus himself. said, be ye therefore perfect. Why don't you no. obey him? Strive to be perfect. No, he said, be ye no, therefore no, no, perfect. No, no, no. Matthew 5, 48. Matthew 5, 48. Matthew 5, 48. Matthew 5, 48. I don't have sex with her, man. It's sinful. Don't do it. You're wicked, you woman. You're, You're wicked. You care about yourself. You are on your way to the on the wrong way to destruction, which Tell is hell fire. And when God stands in the center of the hell, you're gonna be standing forever and ever and ever and ever. And, 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 and You're wicked. You. You're wicked. No, you Repent. Repent. So your problem is you have sin in your life. You loudmouth woman. The Coming against the preaching of the gospel. It's absolutely again, ridiculous. Uh, Jesus to loves you, but if you die in sin like that, you're not going to like where you go. It is not easy for both. Thank you, no evil. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bear with all things. Believe in all things. Hope in all things. Endure in all things. Jerry never failed it. But whether there be prophets, they shall fall. Whether there be tongues, they shall see. Whether there be knowledge, it shall manage the way. 
That's what Bob is, folks. God's word is wrong. You wicked women will give an account for what you're doing out here tonight. You're going to stand before a righteous God, and you're going to have to give an account for that. before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done, whether it be good or bad. All of this stuff is going to be revealed, folks. All the hidden sin, the, the, the stuff that you're hiding from God right now, all oh, folks, everything's going to be revealed on, on judgment day. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for that. I remember when I used to be a sinner, when I used to go to nightclubs, strip clubs, and with my so-called friends, and partying up with the world. Oh, there's no peace in that. But I tell you, folks, you can become a new creature in Jesus Christ. Yes, he can set you free. That's what he done for me. That's why I'm out here to tell you the truth. There's not many people who tell you the truth. <laughs> For he saith, I have heard thee, in a time of Sabbath, and in a day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is the Sabbath time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Yes, folks, you may not make it on your deathbed. Some of you planning for retirement. Saving up a lot of money. It, it, just going to ask God for forgiveness in your heart. But, you know, folks, oh, turn to Jesus. We put up your sins. Drop the beer. Pick up the Bible. Put out the cigarette smoke. It's not funny. It's not funny, folks. Oh, turn to Jesus. You don't have to. Then light your body on fire right now. You'll regret yeah. it. Yeah. You'll regret it. Burn yourself. Yeah, okay, well, you don't choose hell then. No, you don't choose hell. Turn to Jesus. God for you were sometimes darkness, but now are you light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. You know, if you have the fruit of the Spirit, you will not be having... Hey, yo! My dude, you all right? You need a water bottle? Here you go, man. God bless you. What's your name? Tanner. Tanner Paul. Yeah. It's nice to meet you, Tanner. Paul. You said Paul. Get a yeah, you, my God boy. bless you. I hope I hope God you got boy. get your way home safe tonight, no, man. Oh yeah, I got my buddy. You look pretty intoxicated, man. I got my buddy driving me. You got to stop doing that, man. It's gonna lead you to hell. It's not worth it. I'm just going to the gas station. I, I got you, man. I'm just I'm letting you know. Actually, to get some water. Well, there you go. Now you got some, man. Thank but you. But what you need to understand is that is gonna make you thirsty again. Yeah. Go go for the living water of Jesus, where you'll never have to thirst again. Okay. Right. All right, Tanner. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. Okay. Jesus can give you the light, but you must be willing to lay down your life like He did. You must be willing to give up your sins. Y'all too young to be uh, living in sin, folks. You know, even kids, if babies die, kids die, teenagers die. You never know when you're going to die, take that last heartbeat, that last breath. You know, some of you laughing and smiling. But one day, we're going to stand in front of God. Plus, there's a many cigarette smokers to be born again of the Holy Spirit. Oh, you can give me the middle finger, but you won't be doing that to God. It's really kind of dead out here now. Yeah. It's not that time. Yeah, what? All right. All right. You, you, you go ahead. Good. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I am the law. 
lost one Weak and condemned The one that God wants you to talk to But you're scared you to offend And I am the outcast Rejected inside Who oh, I'm looking for answers But I'm blinded by pride So come out and preach Preach unto me And tell me the secret To eternity Be bold and speak And reach out to me No, I can't save myself But I want to be free And there's something inside you I need 